Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill in Stewart, Florida, one of my favorite places. I'm with Christopher Bruce, a good friend and a sales colleague. Christopher has a new listing. Christopher, tell us about this new listing. Today we're going to see Classy Katie. She's a 48-foot Katie Krogan North Sea. She's been consistently upgraded and lovingly maintained. Fantastic. Let's go take a look. Entering the cockpit from the starboard boarding gate, you have the option to go forward along the teak deck to the bow or enter this cockpit here. First thing we encounter is the Glen Denning for your shore power, a hose bib, and in water, city water connection. There's a freezer for additional storage. This very large teak cockpit also has the access to the lazarette. Two Bose speakers for the entertainment system. Tremendous amount of space for seating and enjoying this outdoor living area. Welcome inside Classy Katie. Beautiful interior, teak woodwork, air conditioned, and it's a wide body, so it has a lot more interior volume. The galley and the salon are on this entry level. There's a flat screen television forward, an L-shaped set T on the starboard side here, opening window, windows back aft. All the way back aft, you come in through two opening doors. This is also protected with an insect screen that rolls in and hides. On the port side, two Acornis recliner chairs, with a stand in between, opening window, and then there is a liquor locker and an ice maker over here on this little console, as well as a stackable clothes washer dryer. Galleon Classy Katie has generous surface area. Where I'm standing here is a large area with some shelves down below. All the lockers in the galley have louvered doors. The Corian counter continues around. There is a big stainless steel sink, fresh water filter, overhead lockers for storage, a opening port light, microwave convection oven, force 10, three burner propane stove and oven. There are actually two trash bins here. One is a slide out bin for local storage and then a trash compactor for when you're cruising out on the islands. Continuing back aft, Another pantry locker storage, some drawers and shelves, GE freezer, refrigerator, more storage above, and I can cook a lot of meals here. I enjoy it. Two people can work in this galley at the same time. Coming down the stairs from the galley salon level, you enter the living accommodations with the staterooms. There are two guest staterooms. I'm in the starboard guest stateroom here double bed, opening port lights, drawers, mirror, desk behind me, hanging locker, very comfortable for guests. And across the hall is the other guest cabin that has bunk beds in it. Port side guest cabin is primarily a sleeping area for guests. There are two bunk beds. Outboard are opening port lights. Forward is a hanging locker for the guest clothing. I'm sitting on a bank of drawers. There's a mirror behind me. This is an ideal room for sleeping because it's nice and compact. It also will serve as a storage locker. If you have extra provisions, you can put them and use these beds as shelves. Just come down the hallway into the master stateroom. This is a forward master stateroom with port lights outboard, hatches overhead. It's an island berth, easy to make, very comfortable for sleeping on. There are seats on either side of the bed. We've got the teak slats outboard. There's hanging locker outboard on this side and also on the other side. Let me show you over here. Hanging locker, the shelves, the other changing seat, reading seat, outboard. Form is a vanity mirror with a dresser. And then here is the head and shower outboard. Good size shower, even has a seat on it. Teak gray, toilet, sink. All self-contained up forward here. This is a fantastic master stable.
Krogan 48 engine room is right below the salon and galley level, so you have all that space reserved for machinery. Behind me on center is the Northern Lights generator. Of course, on center line is the John Deere main engine. Directly behind and all the way aft is the Glendinning shore power retriever. Water maker components here, battery bank, tool chest, blowers, inverter, duplex Raycor, all very easy to service and get to. This is the ESI fuel system. Forward is one of the tanks on the boat. Here's a manifold. I can easily lift up the floorboards to get to intake through holes and strainers. There's a ladder that goes up to, that's my access in, and then back aft is the uh, air conditioning and the stabilizer reservoir. I'm on record as being a flybridge guy, but I will tell you that this uh, Krogan 48 pilot house is spectacular. There's a very good size settee back aft. For sitting up here, you have a table for having a cup of coffee or, or having a sandwich. You can communicate with the people in the flybridge through the opening port lights. Good overhead, lots of headroom in here, handrails to grab onto. Outboard on both sides are Dutch doors, the split doors to let natural light and ventilation come through. Stid helm chair on center line. One of the features on this that was added is the new grid control for the Garmin Electronics. Did I say new? Yes, I said new. This entire forward dash area was redone in 2018. From the horizontal surface up, including the overhead panel, everything was redone and reconfigured. The only thing that's original here is the windlass control, the bow thruster control, the compass, and the engine shift. So all this is new. I have excellent visibility, wonderful sight lines here. An additional sub-panel breaker was added for the, for the extra electronics. The surface area is spacious for laying out charts. And over on the port side, I have chart drawers and a chart surface area so that you can lay out a chart while you're underway. From here, I can go forward up to the foredeck or I can go back aft on the starboard side to the cockpit or up to the flybridge on the port side. This is a fantastic pilot house. I love it. Here on the foredeck, we have a large seating area with plenty of storage underneath, electrical connections and water connections when you're at the dock, two hatches that open, an electric windlass, a Maxwell windlass, with two anchors already rigged up, one with road, the other with chain. Accessing the boat deck and flybridge is via the port side side deck. As we walk up, we come past the pilot house and step up to the boat deck. On the boat deck, you can see we have our tender mounted on center line. It's an AB tender with a 40 horsepower Yamaha. To launch the tender, there's a Marquip 1500 pound crane. Moving forward, the mast houses all of our antenna as well as the open array. This mast can be dropped and lowered to go under bridges as needed. Moving forward, there are two helm chairs. The center mounted for the helmsman is right in front of the new Garmin instrumentation that's been added. We have a radio bow thruster, stabilizer control, throttle, everything you need to control this vessel. Looking forward, we can see the solar power panels. These are sun power 720 watt panels. Hey, thanks for your time coming aboard Classy Katie so you could actually see for yourself what she's all about. We do get people on board by appointment. To do that, you get in touch with Christopher. Christopher, what's the best way for them to reach you? The best way to reach me is Christopher at jmys.com or give me a call or text on my cell phone, 603-397-8397. The number's on the screen. Yeah, you don't want to miss this one. Get in touch with Christopher. Let's get you aboard and thanks for watching. Thank you. Look forward to getting you aboard.
Hi trawler fans, thank you for watching the JMYS YouTube video channel. I'm fortunate to be offshore again. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, you can click the button below. We also like to publish other listings and other trawler skills videos. You can click on one of those on the side to watch those. Thank you very much for your thumbs up. We love having you watch our videos. We love putting them together for you and hope you come back again soon.